Well, we are honored now to have with us Dr. Daniel Weiner, who has just won the very prestigious Castleman Award. Congratulations on that. Uh, thank you, Catherine. Tell me about that award. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, say I'm very uh, honored and humbled to receive this award. And I'd like to thank um, us, Cap, and the, and the committee for this. Um, I also want to say that this, award, this uh, work that I won the award for has been a, a large effort between two major universities, the University of Toronto and Stanford University, um, and um, I'm very honored to receive this. So basically this, this work or this paper that we published um, shows um, that we had identified a new autoimmune component to obesity-related insulin resistance, uh, which precedes type 2 diabetes. And, um, uh, t so just a little bit of background, diabetes is, is broken down into uh, two types of diabetes. Mm -hmm. So type 1 diabetes is thought to be uh, a known autoimmune condition where your immune system attacks the uh, beta cells of the pancreas which make insulin. And then type 2 diabetes is not traditionally thought to be an autoimmune disease um, and it's characterized mainly by insulin resistance where your, uh, your tissue, body's tissues don't respond well to insulin. Uh, and it's usually linked to obesity. Now, um, the, nobody knows what causes your body's tissues to become resistant to insulin, but uh, it's been thought that inflammation may play uh, an important role. In this paper, we've identified what regulates, uh, what regulates some of the inflammation uh, in, the tissue, in the tissues, and in particular, we found that two cells of the adaptive immune system, T cells and B cells, are important contributors to this. Uh, in particular, we found um, in obese patients who are insulin resistant, we found that these uh, patients um, produce uh, antibodies against specific self proteins, uh, which were not present in patients who are obese and insulin sensitive. And this is a, a new important paradigm shifting finding which brings the adaptive immune system to the forefront of, uh, of insulin resistance pathophysiology. So this could, in many ways, actually save lives, potentially. Yeah, the, the work is very important because, uh, because we've identified a new immune component to, uh, to insulin resistance, which is the main uh, precursor uh, disease uh, basis to type 2 diabetes. Um, this, this work could lead to new um, antibody-based diagnostic tests, which may uh, predict uh, complications of type 2 diabetes, uh, such as heart attacks, uh, kidney disease, nerve damage, um, which are easy to screen by looking for antibodies in the blood. It may lead to new immune modulating treatments, um, which, can, which can treat type 2 diabetes or insulin resistance. Um, and ultimately, uh, we're hoping it, it may lead to uh, a potential preventative vaccine, which may prevent the disease altogether. That's really exciting. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, yeah. Catherine. And what's particularly of interest is that you were, um, this, this Castleman Award is pretty special because it's the top paper published in, uh, you've won the award for publishing the top paper in human pathology research by someone under 40. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty remarkable. Yeah, so a lot of this, um, well, I'd like to give, you know, credit as well to, to my twin brother, Sean Weiner, um, and the two of us come up with a lot of these ideas together. Um, it started maybe about six or, six or seven years ago. Uh, we talk about ideas uh, all, all the time over the phone. Uh, then maybe about five years ago, I was at Stanford. He was at University of Toronto. Um, and, uh, and one of the ways we used to keep in touch was, you know, we talk online. Sometimes we even play computer games online. But uh, um, it, some of the ideas related to this work uh, spawned from, from these conversations. And so we're, I'm, I'm very honored to receive this from a, a great organization such as OSCAP. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you for coming by and telling us about it. Yeah, thanks.